Gaelic warrior is going for the Arkle, he's going to end up over in the Guinness Village. Well, he's ran at Cheltenham before and it hasn't been that bad. But going left-handed is probably enough to, you know, ensure that he won't be quite at his peak. Um, the thing with Gaelic warrior being in the Arkle now is that he's kind of going to make the market a bit because I don't think he's going to be overpriced. I don't think he'll be the right price. He might be the right price, as in like just the price he should be. He definitely won't be a value price. So the likelihood is that he'll be underpriced, in which case he's going to make the market for everybody else. Um, look, he's a top horse on his day. And if he goes for the Arkle, he has to be respected because he could just bounce out and you know and, and make every post a winning one if he's at his peak. Um, so, you know... I don't know what price he is now. Maybe seven to two, four to one. I can't see him being too much bigger than that, and he definitely won't be that bigger than that on the day. I can't really see it. But anyway, you know, he's in the race now, and um, you know, he makes it an intriguing race for sure. So uh, I'm I'm glad that they've kind of gone down that road, um, because the likes of Factor File and one or two other novices in the Turners, I, you know, I, I, it's a it's a daring run for for Gaelic Warrior, but I think it's probably the right choice considering that he didn't finish off his race very strongly last time out. That really, the biggest question mark for me with Gaelic Warrior is his well being because at Leopardstown, he he didn't look all there at all, you know. Um, but look, the Arkle is going to be a bit, an interesting market, and I can't wait to see what gets finally declared, you know.